next on the list. So, um, update on the Union Jordans, man. I am, this is legitimately outside of the Travis Scott trail um, runners that came out a, re- a, a while back. These are probably the only shoes that I desperately want during this whole uh, sneaker drop season. Uh, this year during COVID has been very difficult, I guess, because everyone's at home and, you know, people are bored, people are broke. So people are trying to sell, resell the shoes to make a bit of money. And then the, those of us that are sneakerheads just want to buy the shoes. We're all at home. We all have funds that we've basically saved because we're not traveling to work and stuff. So everyone's got disposable income. So, you know, and the, the, the quantity of these shoes don't go up. If any, if anything, they just stay the same while they go down. And, you know, there's all these backdoor deals happen. So it's very difficult to get shoes now. It feels like and even the, the shoes that aren't the most popular right, aren't the most popular they still sell out in minutes so um i'm not too sure what my chances are i'm sure i'm gonna get another l like i did during sneakers day it's just gonna be a continuous you know cacophony of l's but god damn it i really 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 want these union jordan fours i really really want them in guava or in black please for the love of god let that happen um union actually released some new pictures here that i'm going to show you on the instagram giving a bit of a detailed look on the shoes and they look bloody beautiful like gorgeous beyond belief so this is from union's uh, instagram page it says we're excited to announce our up and coming collaboration with jordan brand with brand jordan sorry this is our sophomore album and we got a robust collection that we will be sharing with you within the next couple of weeks which includes four different shoes which i think is the other shoe the other jordan but I'm not, i don't really care about that one an entire apparel collection the collection will launch on august the 29th so with no further ado we start with the kicks the a jordan 4 guava this will be the union exclusive colorway like blood I love the fact that Union are hearkening back to the good old days of streetwear store drops where sometimes you would get a collection or sometimes you'd get a capsule collection, right? Uh, collaboration with a brand and you'd get uh, the ability to buy specific items at the store where the collaboration, you know, at the store of the collaborator and then the rest of the stuff will go, you know, to all the other uh, retailers out there. But there were some kind of store exclusive things that you could pick up, whether it was tote bags, uh, hats, accessories, whatever it may be. But I like the fact that they get the ability to do two shoes and they sell one exclusively through Union. That is genius. I fucking love it. Um, the That would be uh, the Union exclusive colorway. It says, please check the website, unionjordanla.com um, for more pictures and additional launch information as it becomes available. In the coming weeks, we'll share images of the apparel as well as the campaign and another little surprise. Stay tuned. I'm really interested to find out what exactly drove them to make this shoe this way. Um, color blocking, um, the idea of essentially flipping all the little details, like this little ice day bit has basically been, it looks like the shoe is inside out, but then it's kind of, it's been exploded and then put back together the wrong way around, if you get what I mean. Like this mud, I think this mud guard should be underneath that. That should be underneath the lace, the lace bit should be underneath this bit here. Uh, this sort of plastic eyelet thing should be inside it, shouldn't be outside it. Um, I like it. I fucking love it. The fact that there's no, they haven't popped out this little window on the wings here as well. It's absolutely beautiful. The color application, the fact that the tongue has basically been clipped back. I'm not sure if this is a nod to streetwear or sneaker culture from back in the day in LA where people used to maybe snip the tongue off of their Jordan 4. Maybe similar to what people used to do with skate highs. Remember when people in skateboarding used to take a skate high and basically cut it into a mid? Um, I think that might have been the reason why they actually made the half cap. I'm not too sure. Or the or the skate or the skate or the skate high mid whatever it's called right I think that might be the reason so that you can you can cut off the little you know bit to basically allow your ankle to move a little bit more freely but this guava shoe is bloody beautiful I actually prefer it with the tongue down um, it sort of looks a little bit like those Chinese fakes of Jordans where you can always tell the the because the tongue is always a bit you know jangly but i actually like when it's sort of clipped down i like the fact that it's been reversed and flipped around if you've got a pair of jordan fours one literally one of my favorite my top three favorite shoes in the world um jordan's yeah Air jordan yeah jordan four air force one and air max 90 top three shoes but if you've got a pair of jordan fours you know that the air jordan uh tag is usually on the inside of your tongue so they basically flip that around um bloody beautiful i actually like it kind of pulled back um just gorgeous man you know the stitching of course is great uh reminds me of the stuff that they've done with the air jordan ones from beforehand uh just a great application on the shoe again great colorway very unique um without being too crazy and a real uh what would you call it 
it's a real Marmite kind of colorway and a shoe collaboration in general, which probably gives me more of a chance to get them. I don't, I don't think that does because I still think people out there will just buy them because they're Union Collab and want to resell them. But if ever there was an opportunity to do so, it will be a pair of shoes that are, you know, guava with like this weird sort of uh, yellowy stained midsole. But they look fucking brilliant, really, really brilliant. And then the black pair is even better. Like, you know, you know me and black shoes. I absolutely love them. Um, so these are so I think the blacks are going to be available to all retailers. So they'll be a lot easier to get than the guavas. But to both pairs I'd easily wear, you know, on a daily basis because they're absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that! Like look at that! Absolutely nice that Jordan Four in black. Like so so well done. Um, and it kind of gives you an indication on what maybe Virgil will do with the wings as well and his Jordan 4s are meant to be coming out soon for uh, the off-white ones so oh, I really want these man so badly let's let's hope the the stars align for me is that what do you say is that Nubuck that is Nubuck right it's not Sway that's that'll be nice um they'll they'll look a lot better beating up as well once people start you know stepping on your toes and you start shuffling at tech house dances <laughs> listen to Michael BB tracks I think you these will look so much better once they've been broken in Oh, I, I love these. I, I love both. Again, um, I'd probably want the guavas ahead of the blacks, but I want both. I don't care. Let's see if I can get them. Uh, probably unlikely, but you can only hope. You can only hope.